Hello everyone and welcome back to another video in the 0 to 100 series. And today we are starting out at level 32 and we are going to try to push forward. It is also the wonderful event happening right now in Conqueror's Blade. So we get the lovely victory pass and all this happening. This is an excellent time for people who are leveling to participate because you get all these wonderful boosts that will help you out. You know, various unit medals, treaties, etc. So we're going to see if we can take advantage of some of that. First thing, obviously, is for me to go pick up all my quests. So I'm going to go pick up all the quests. Oh, Chief Strategist gave us uh, some really cool looking outfit for now. We're going to have to go ahead and put that on, aren't we? We got to look stylish. Now we're looking stylish. All right, let's go get the rest of the quests. All right, so we have our quests picked up. So let's get a look at what we need to do. So we need to promote a unit to level five. We need to unlock the silver era and recruit. So we need two more silver era units. We need to raise our hero level, which is um, obviously pretty straightforward. Win some battles. So big thing is we need to get a unit to level five, which uh, Pike Militia is probably going to be our go-to pick for that. There's quite a few options we could go with. We could pick up Prefecture Guards. They're not bad. They're not very good late game, but they're still pretty decent units. Uh, Prefecture Pikemen we're going to get because we're going to try to get to Imperial Pike Guards. So that's going to be a good option. Uh, Prefecture Archers. I do enjoy Prefecture Archers as far as a blue silver area unit. So that's a possibility. So we're going to have to keep our eyes open. Uh, let's check out our paths real quick too. So we need to win two battles, earn... Few more badges, upgrade any unit by two out of three levels. So a lot of this stuff's just plain matches. Uh, we'll get that pretty quickly. Faith. So we need to equip two doctrines to any unit. Come on, man. I still have that one done. Could you just recognize that I completed it, please? So yeah, pretty much just play matches. So we're just gonna go ahead and play matches. We also have the new Clash of the Tigers that we can mess with. That could be a lot of fun. Oh, death matches are happening right now. We're not gonna do that, that's for sure. So yeah, why don't we just, uh, why don't we check out the Clash of the Tigers? A few minutes later. All right, never mind. Clash of the Tigers Q doesn't wanna pop. <laughs> let's just get back into siege battles. All right, Kurak Castle, let's take out some AI. All right, let's go climb that wall. Get him. Yeah. Kill Steel. Kill Steel. All right, our guys are dying. Not too surprising. They're taking a lot of ranged fire. All right, our pike militia are pretty much done, which is fine. We'll switch to our spear sergeants, and then with them, we should be able to push most of the way. Actually, we might go. Oh, no, I might go cav, because taking B with cav is actually pretty... Pretty straightforward. Look at all these ranged units. Look at all these ranged units. Right through, right through, right through, right through. Let's go. All right, good enough. Sorry, Cav. We tried. All right, we're gonna knock him down and get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. That was fun. Uh, if those were a higher level Cav, we would have just mowed through all those units, but uh, they weren't. So. They kind of got stuck and, you know, had fun. All right, so now what we want to do is uh, set up our units. And, uh, yeah, don't let them through. All right, we got it. So we made some progress on our path, which is great. Made progress on bagpipers. Nice, made lots of pro progress on the battle pass. Now, if I was actually going to be uh, playing the game with this account and not just doing this video with it, I totally would actually own the battle pass. See, look at all these crafting gear, all this stuff that the event gives you. It's such a good time to be a new player during an event like this. All right, what do we do on the path? So we got that one. So now we have to use artillery to get kills. So we need to pay attention to that. We gotta do daily quests and add three friends. All right, so daily quests. So luckily, we just did a daily quest. So we'll turn that one in and let's get into a new match. Ooh, look at all these skill points. We get our next, 
Oh, we can work our way towards. Oh, can we get it? <gasps> Throw shield. Yes. That got us our path of faith. Two out of five seasonal weekly challenges. And we got a new horse. Oh, after this match, we'll have to upgrade our horse. We'll have to take care of the horse. Nice. So one of the first things we're going to want to do is get up there and get on a cannon and start getting some artillery kills so we can work on our path. So actually, our best bet's probably to take this guy since we are targeting units. See, look, seven kills already. Get him, get him, get him, get him. I need artillery kills. My pike militia are better than all of yours. Although they are, they are killing my guys. But they're getting their experience, so we're all good. That's the whole point. Use your units. We're clearing a bunch of enemies. Bye. Have a beautiful time. Yeah, just ignore me. One of the options is that I set up a shoddy right here. Ha <laughs> ha! That's how we do it. Get me more artillery kills. All right, Al, I got killed. I might have partially had something to do with that. By the way, I did uh, put an assassination doctrine on these spear sergeants. <laughs> can you tell? Ooh, can I reach those guys? Oh, ho, ho. nice. That should be a good amount of kills. Oh, I hear bagpipers. Get those buffs going. Love it. Dun, 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 dun. I should be careful. Cuts. That's a copyright waiting to happen. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Well, be careful when you dodge. Yes, we got a path of faith progress. Path of faith, badges, got it. Yes, got the artillery. And field or siege battle will be among the top five. Got that. So now we need to get silver or higher quality badges. Or an honor. Okay, simple. One away from a free silver area unit. So that'll help towards our uh, three silver area units that we need. Got that. All right, so weeklies. Look at all these. Look at all these. As a new player, doing weeklies is a huge deal because you get lots of stuff out of these gift bags. Gives you a lot of progress. Awesome, these guys hit four. So we're one away from finishing that quest. All right, let's take care of our mount. So we have our wonderful Sirocco now. We're going to go ahead, set that as default. Oh, we can go ahead and get our iron sights three. Ooh. Yep, do it. Do it. Maxed out iron sights. Be tanky. Be very tanky. All right, Green Peak. I actually really like Green Peak. I do wish I could play this match more often. Ooh, he went uh, Longbowman. Interesting choice, dude. Interesting choice. They're not bad, but they're a little weird. By the way, if you're playing this for real, this supply point, you can have Longbowman on it and actually hit quite a bit out here. So definitely that supply point is a really good spot to put a Longbowman. These walls are really high too, so it's actually kind of difficult to shoot over them for the attackers. They need to be really good at lob shooting like mortars. All right, we got a guy, uh, dual blade, trying to be sneaky a bit. Oh, those are in formation. I don't know that I've ever really seen AI set up units in formation. Do you have an actual pair on the other We're gonna back up for a sec. Run in, knock him over. Nice, progress on the path. And we got some quests to turn in. So let's get these quests turned in because if these are daily ones, they'll count towards our progress. There's two specials, we got up to 37. We got a quest over at the building officer, so let's head that way while we do our quest turn-ins. Got some seasonal challenges done. Weekly challenges done. 
Nice. All right. And now paths. So path of faith. We got the two badges done. And then we already did three seasonal weekly challenges. So it gave us that. We got our free silver area unit. So we need to do two more seasonal weekly challenges. That should be simple enough. We unlocked path of justice. Let's go do it. Let's go. All right. Got that out of Taylor out of the way. Oodle ears are, oh man, they're so weak. You have to do run throughs, but that's whatever. All right, guys, distract them while I take the supply point and get out spear sergeants. All right, now it's over. Now it's over. All right, push to B. End this so we can open this path up. All right, new path open. Four quests. All right, so do expeditions, craft gear, add five friends, upgrade any unit by three levels. Pretty straightforward. Crafting and uh, expeditions are going to be pretty straightforward for us to just kind of try to get out of the way. So a big thing is to start with stuff like boots and bracers because they're cheaper to make. So they're usually a good place to start because uh, you can make more of them quicker. I don't believe we have any unbound items, so we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, Make boots to start. All right, a bit more slashing defense and a bit more blunt defense. Uh, not the best, but all right. Normally I would kind of keep repeating uh, the same one, but we don't have gear that all has affixes. So we're gonna kind of create one for each slot. So a bit more slashing, a bit more crit, all right. And then I believe we can make a weapon too. There we go, blunt. Penetration, blunt damage, eh, that's all right, but that's still better than we have. Got better stats. Let's go ahead and open all our stuff at. So we get a free unit. So we're kind of working towards our Imperial Pike Guards. That means we probably want to go ahead and just get our Prefecture Pikemen. I don't care for this unit too much. Hey, short sword. Very nice. All right, path. Now we need to salvage one item. Guess what? We just replaced two of our pieces of gear. Or three of our pieces of gear. Salvage them. Get progress on that. So we're done with that for the most part. So craft piece of personal equipment of rare, better quality. Technically, we probably should have not crafted all those until we checked. And then we would have known we would have had to do one more. But um, that's all right. I technically actually still have two weapon schematics. So... We'll just go ahead and do another reroll on our weapon. Now I could at this point also craft something else. Oh, we're actually out of powdered silver. And so we'll play a match or two. And then we'll probably get enough powdered silver from that. So, all right, can we make something like a helmet? Because we still need a helmet. Yep, so we actually have enough to make a helmet. So I eked by by getting that schematic. Uh, not very good, but we have our, we have three pieces now, so we're one away from getting our four-piece bonus, which is going to be huge, getting that uh, defense increase. And once we have our four-piece bonus, we'll start trying to make better versions of everything. Just kind of focus on one piece and then keep going until we get one that we like of that quality. Let's make our Prefecture Pikemen. So we'll make progress towards that quest. So we need one more Silver Era unit. Challenges. I think that gives us path progress. Yes. Raise our seasonal level by one. Got that. Acquire zero to two items from the seasonal store. So we gotta buy stuff from the seasonal store. We have enough anything to buy from the seasonal store? We got 300 to spend. So we wanna obviously look at stuff like schematics. So armor schematics, oh yeah, we can easily buy bunch of those we could get the powdered silver too but stuff like treaties and schematics are going to be our biggest focus as new characters so let's buy a couple of these to start with so we can finish this so here's the deal we already have a set of guardsmen outfit that we've been using so we can just go ahead and pick something else like let's pick the carnifex set and now i have a set of medium armor so if i want to play around with something like Spear or Nadachi, I at least have an armor set to get me started. A four-piece set. 
Now I could have picked um, the set I'm currently using, obviously, and gotten my four piece, but we're already crafting and trying to get bonuses, and these don't have bonuses. So this just gives us that ability now to play around with a another type of weapon and another armor. All right, so now we got three schematics, which is great. We're back up to 29 powdered silver. That I don't think that's enough to make our last piece, which is the chest piece. No, it takes 32. So all right, we're uh we're one away. So we need. You know what we could do? What we could do is go to the store and just buy. We're gonna be buying a bunch of this anyway. Ah, we'll just buy ten of it. Now we can make our chest piece. Now we have our four piece bonus. We also have a set for medium too. Leadership, yes, that's what we wanted. Nineteen leadership, awesome with some health and piercing defense. Not bad at all. I will take it. Nineteen leadership is great. I think the most you can get on a piece is 25, so it's fairly up there, which is great. So let's look at our unit tree real quick. So now we actually got our Prefecture Pikemen. We could actually already unlock our Imp Pike Guards. We could do the Palace Guards I was working towards. We got quite a few options. Prefecture Guards we could pick up to work on that quest. Let's look at that quest real quick and see what reward it gives. That gives us 5,000 honor and two spots. So 5,000 honor, it costs us 7,100 to pick up, say, Prefecture Guards. So we would nearly get it all back, not quite all of it. So that wouldn't be a bad option, is it's almost a direct trade at that point. Pardon me wants to get a unit that leads to something else, but uh, most of them that I can easily access, I'm not a huge fan of. We could also do Squires. You know what, I'm gonna do Prefecture Guards. We're gonna go ahead and do Prefecture Guards. Let's go ahead. Oh, I can't add them. I don't have enough expansion slots. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of these guys for now. They're cheap, so it's not that big a deal. So we got our prefecture guards now. That should give us that quest. We'll get 5,000 honor back then, and we'll get two spots for units. The next one it wants is to create three heroic era units. So we've already got one. We're pretty much like we're going to do in one more match or whatever. We should pretty much have enough honor to pick up another. I think I might actually do my Imp Pike Guards first before my Palace Guards. I really like Palace Guards, but Imp Pike Guards are just a good, solid, all-arounder unit. Uh, their advance is just ridiculously good. So let's get into a match and see if after one match we can make that progress we need. Storehouse. All right, I guess let's just do a nice repeat of what we already know. Someone's buying units. Yeah, I don't know if anyone would have Falconetti at this point. Unless you're buying them. These mercs? Oh, I forgot about that. While they have those for mercs right now, don't they? Hmm, good point. Good point. Okay, mercs are not a bad idea to use, except you have to remember that you're not really getting any experience from using the mercs. It's like I'm leveling up my units as I'm using them, and if I were to use mercenary units, I would not be getting that experience towards them. I would only be getting uh, shared XP. Uh, I think we have actual other players on the other side now. Ha ha! Take it! Boom! Take, take it! Take it to the face! This is how it's done. Nice, big. We got our pikes, we got our shield wall, we've got artillery support, Falconetti support. These guys kind of have that covered. We're gonna go watch out for this side. Yeah, man, you're in trouble. I've got a pretty strong iron sides. So they are gonna probably take A. That's just kind of a given. But we're gonna go swap out and get shields ready to defend the final point. Take them, take them, take them, take them, take them. Don't let them have those grenades. Grenadiers. All right, back in, back in, back in. We've overextended, get back on base, get back on base. Knock them all down, knock them all down. Ah, oh, almost got him. All right, we actually did, uh, I think decent. 7 0 12 That guy did really good, but uh, yeah, 
That was uh, our first match with actually other players on the other team. And uh, I guess surprise, surprise, I know that, you know, at least a couple of us probably, you know, are not first time players and just are on different accounts. So it went uh, pretty well for us. Let's see, we got weekly challenges done. Made progress on the event, apparently. Yep, got our badges. All right, and we made progress on a quest. That gets us a free heroic era unit. So there's a few ways to go about using these free units, and that's what we're gonna have to pick. One is to use it to progress towards something else. So I pick up my pike cards that I've wanted, or my palace cards, and that gives me progress towards iron reapers. Another option for these free units is to get something that's hard to get. So for example, it's difficult to get into some of these cav units, especially if you don't really want to focus too much on cav. So it's not a bad idea to pick these up because then you're not unlocking all this to get up to them. I don't know if for heroic that's as worthwhile as for like a free golden era. So we'll get a, at the end of the pass a free golden era. I'll probably pick it up wing hussars because then I don't have to unlock all the way up to them. I think what we'll do is for our free one, because we don't quite have enough to unlock. We didn't get enough honor from that to unlock one. Is we'll probably actually pick up. Because having a nice. Having a musket unit would be really awesome. Like arquebusiers or fusiliers. But I think we're going to keep our progress towards our staples. So I think we'll pick up our pike guards with this free one. There they are. So let's get our free pike guards. Ah, the Empire. And we should. I think have everything to actually hire them and awesome so pike guards are a huge staple of a unit and for that reason what we'll actually do is we're going to go ahead and actually ah, put Empire. a focus on them so we're going to use all of our shared xp on them we're going to actually pop all of these 199 it lets me we're going to dump all that into these guys Top line is great for these guys, but it's kind of busted. So I always go bottom line. Because a lot of the features don't work for the top line. And uh, that means I'd rather them be tanky. So these guys are already 12 out of 18. That's pretty good. It would be nice to get them all the way up. Um, but I'm actually going to stop there with them. Uh, we will go ahead though. Let's get them piercing damage. And give them some more penetration and that time it worked but all right so we got our unit level upgrade we got these achievements so we passed that we're to 40. i need to get some doctrines via the war scholar so finally gave us that and now we can do our war points for the weekly quests so apparently we got a rare life doctrine from uh from that so we're going to go ahead and actually throw those. Uh, actually, I don't know. Life would probably be better on these guys, since they're supposed to be tankier. All right. So that enter, that finished a few of the quests. So let's go ahead and get those turned in. Look at all those XPs, doctrines. Wow, since I leveled the one unit up to 12, I just did a lot of those quests in that quest line at once. Martial Glory 5. All right, so we got all these. So we got a bunch of skill points from that. We got all these doctrines we can pick from. So we're gonna go piercing and piercing. So we're gonna do double piercing. I actually just messed that up because now we don't need this because we're just gonna go the rare version. And then we'll go to our sergeants and we're gonna give that to them too. Now we get next doctrine at level four. Five. They're three at the moment. I can actually take them straight to five with the leftover shared XP. Let's do that. That way, we can just go ahead and equip. Wrong spots. Go ahead and equip that. 
Such good progress. We're making excellent progress. All right, we just got all the skill points. So let's do our skill tree. So I really would like to up my Thunderstruck. So duration, cooldown reduction. I do want that cooldown reduction on the alt too though. Yeah, we're just gonna push the alt forward, try to get at least the uh, Thunderstruck too. All right, I think that's pretty much where we're gonna leave it out today. So we actually, last time we did this, got uh, way more than 10 levels. This time we actually got less than 10 levels. We only ended up, with, I think, with eight levels. We're at 40 now. Uh, but that puts us at a decent place. I actually need to redo runes. Forgot to do that after we got all this gear. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera probably. Uh, but we made great progress on units. Now we've got our imp pike guards. And I pumped them up to 12 with all those XP boosts we were holding on to. We got our sergeants to 5. Our pike militia are at four. We also got our prefecture pikemen. Um, so we're actually sitting pretty well. We need to get heroic air units. I need one more. And we're almost there already, just with honor. Actually, now we have enough, apparently. Well, we serve the emperor. Let's just end today off with doing that instead, then. Now we even have our palace guards. So we are sitting nice and pretty. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn that quest in. So next time we're going to push forward even more with our paths. And I think what we'll do next time is actually spend some time outside of battles. Out in the real world to do our paths that require us to go out there. Such as doing the like rebel killing, doing the, um, the loot sites, etc. I'll show some of the tips and tricks for doing all that. So we'll spend our time outside next time. With that, though, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield.